In this video, I'm going to explain ADSR and applying it to volume, otherwise known as amplitude. ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain and Release. The technical term for this is an envelope, and whilst you may have seen this dotted around your DAW, possibly in a synthesizer or on a filter, in this example, the most fundamental example, I'm going to apply it to volume, more technically known as amplitude, the height of a waveform. Here, a sample I can drag into a sampler, playing a high note so it's higher in pitch. Fantastic. Now to shape volume using ADSR, I click here. Naturally, each sampler will be different. The buttons will be in different places, but that's okay. The important thing here is to understand the concept, what these mean. ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. In Ableton's sampler instrument here, there is visual feedback. As I adjust these parameters, you can see this envelope. The technical term for this is an envelope changing. However, oftentimes you don't get any visual feedback, so it's important to understand this shape. This is the standard ADSR shape. As I press a note, it goes through the attack, the section here, and then it decays over this decay time to the sustain level. As I then hold down the note, in more technical language, sustain the note, the sound is held at this sustain level. Then as I release, this release time determines how long it takes to decay to nothing. So importantly, attack, decay, and release are times but sustain is a level. For example, I could make a plucky shape, sustain 0% or minus infinity, a short attack, and dial in the length of the pluck with this decay. And while yes, attack, decay, sustain, release are pretty standard terms, you will find each sampler does have its own implementation. Here, for example, I can change the curviness of each section. Something you can't do, for example, in Ableton's simpler sampler. You can see down here, attack, decay, sustain, release, but no way to change the curviness of each section. Further noting here, no visual feedback, so you have to know that ADSR shape. In addition, sometimes samplers give you a different way to approach this, e.g. one-shot mode, where instead of ADSR, you have fade in and fade out. In this case, giving you visual feedback. Also noting trigger versus gate. In trigger mode, I can simply tap the keyboard and the sample plays through, but in gate mode, it only plays through if I hold down the note. And so there you have it, ADSR. Thanks for watching.